What's up YouTube? Thanks for tuning in. Another episode. What we're going to be doing on this one is I'm going to show you guys step by step how I build a custom spalted maple coffee table with a matching side table set. This is going to have a blue slate tinted uh, resin epoxy running through it and it's also going to have a matching maple beam. Alright, let's get to it. Here is a beautiful piece of spalted maple from Alder for Lumber. They are about three hours away. They're in Pennsylvania too. As you can see, we got the beautiful uh, rain, sleet, snow, hail all in one day up here. But uh, keep posting. I'm going to show you guys how this build turns out. All right, now we got this set up in our mold. This is a 24 inch wide by 48 inch long. It's from Exotherm Designs. All right, you guys, for this coffee table, we're going to be using two to one pour from Ice Epoxy. This is deep cast. And we have blue slate from Black Diamond Pigments. Figured that nice light blue would pair pretty good with that maple. Let's see how this looks. So this is later in the next day. Swirls are looking pretty cool. I like this color. Blue slate. Give us another day to cure and then uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a clear layer. So that way you can see all this cool stuff, all these voids. Give this table some depth. It's going to turn out pretty good. We got the first layer of clear on. You can start to kind of see some depth in here now. Might have to add about another gallon of clear. Everything's looking good so far. Alright guys, this table is fully cured now. That layer on top with the clear coat, that is done. I'm going to show you guys how easy this is to pop this out of the mold. You're going to take your rubber mallet, a couple taps on the sides, get it loose, flip it over, tap on the bottom, and then it should fall right out. Alright, there you have it. Out of the mold. This thing turned out awesome. I cannot wait to get this on the router sled. Get it flattened up. Start trimming the final dimensions, sanding it. This thing is going to look awesome. I'm not sure what legs I'm going to do yet for this, but I don't know. Might do something wild. So we have this set up on the table, and we're going to flatten this with our stone coat uh, countertop slab flattening jig. I have a Bosch router and that's set up with a two inch uh, flattening bit. This is not the funnest part of this build because you get extremely dirty and it sucks. I'd rather have a CNC machine, but you gotta make do with what you got. Alright, the mess has been made. Table's flat, top, bottom. Next step, we're going to cut this thing to final dimensions. <laughs> 
on the one of the most boring parts obviously is just sanding and sanding away now it's time to put a chamfer on this coffee table you guys could choose that use whatever size you want small larger i chose like a larger size on this one because i thought it would look pretty good and back to some more sanding so my process for this table i started at 80 grit and ran it all the way up to 400. all right so the next step is going to be a flood coat but with your first one you want to do this very light because the main goal is just to seal the wood and this could take anywhere from two to three more coats on top so when you actually do get to the flood section you want to add more epoxy than you're going to do on the first seal coat it's time to prep the matching spalted maple beam same process started at 80 grit ran this all the way up to 400. so it's time to flip this over and we're going to sand these epoxy drips off now when i install legs i like to take the router and we're going to carve out little section on the bottom where the legs would be bolted up to and i also like to use threaded hardware it's just a cleaner more professional look thanks for watching in guys i appreciate it if you'd like to see more videos like this give me a comment a uh, like or a share and also any other video ideas that you would like to see me run through drop that in the comment section thank you